Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Patty Abril from Mayor Carlos Jimenez's Office of Communications. Thank you all for being here today for this great moment as we hold the welcome ceremony for the new MDFR AW139 helicopter, the first of four brand new helicopters coming to Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. I'd also like to thank everyone in the live audience here with us today for keeping your masks on and for maintaining physical distancing as we continue to follow our COVID-19 safety protocols. I'd like to recognize our elected officials who are joining us here today, beginning with Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez and members of our Board of County Commissioners, Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz, Commissioner Sally Heyman, and of course, Commissioner Joe Martinez, in whose district we are in today. I'd also like to acknowledge Miami-Dade Fire Chief Alan Kaminsky, MDFR Executive Staff, MDFR Director Staff, and all MDFR personnel present here today, as well as Executive Staff members from Leonardo Helicopters, whom we welcome to Miami-Dade County. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Lieutenant Chaplain Bessie Bickham. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lieutenant Chaplain Bickham. Now please be seated. Now with the first remarks of the afternoon, I turn it over to our wonderful mayor, Carlos Jimenez. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, thank you very much, very much Patty. And uh, I wanna acknowledge the presence of some county commissioners that are here. Uh, Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz is here. Uh, district Commissioner uh, Joe Martinez. This is your district, right? This is your district, there you go. Sally Heyman from uh, District 4. And I know that I saw uh, Commissioner Levine Cava around here. Did she here? Was she here? But she left. Okay. All right. Sorry to so, sorry to miss her. Today's really a great day in uh, Miami-Dade County, and uh, I'm really hyped up about this helicopter. And it was a tough fight uh, to get this helicopter, but this is the right helicopter for Miami-Dade County Fire Rescue and the right helicopter for Miami-Dade residents. This helicopter has extended range, has uh, more capacity, can carry more things, carry it faster, carry it longer, and stay up in the air longer than the previous model, and even its competitive model. That's why we fought so hard for this helicopter. Another thing too, this helicopter, although Leonardo is an Italian firm, this helicopter was actually built in USA. It was built in Philadelphia, and that's a great thing too. I want to welcome CEO William Hunt and his uh, top team from Leonardo Helicopters to Miami-Dade County. We are thrilled uh, to be holding this ceremony for the first of our new uh, four. We're going to get four of these AW139 helicopters that Miami-Dade Fire Rescue is buying. This helicopter offers uh, heightened safety and security to our fire rescue workers and the people whose lives they are saving and whose lives they are caring for. This Leonardo model is uh, top of the line, and uh, if you can see, it is top of the line, and wait till you see inside of it, really awesome. It's top, top of the line for fire suppression, for emergency services, for search and rescue missions. With more than 1,000 deliveries to date, the AW139 has been the world's most successful hel helicopter program for the past 15 years. It is used by more than 280 operators in more than 70 countries. So it has a stellar track record. Designed to provide maximum stability during rescue missions, this helicopter's unique features include a state-of-the-art cargo hook, a high-tech rescue hoist, and a Bambi bucket. Uh, the Bambi bucket is not, the Bambi bucket is actually a big, big bucket that you can fill with water for fire suppression. And so uh, this has the, all of the requisite uh, safety features for rescue missions and urgent medical attention. Uh, missions and the EMS missions that, frankly, this helicopter is going to run mostly on. EMS missions. People out uh, away from, say, the trauma center. We can get people to a trauma center within the magic hour, that, that first hour, which is so vital to get serious trauma victims to a trauma center so that we can save their lives. And we have the best 
trauma system in the, in the nation. Uh, that you can be sure of. This new helicopter gives us added strength to meet our community's needs throughout our 71 fire rescue stations in both the unincorporated uh, Miami-Dade County and in 27 municipalities. This important work also is in high demand in Monroe, Collier, Broward, and Lee counties, and we offer uh, and we often provide crucial assistance to our neighboring counties. For all these reasons, I'm really proud that we are adding this model to our helicopter fleet. I want to thank Miami-Dade County's Board of County Commissioners for their support the major, to uh, this major upgrade to our fleet. Special thanks go to Commissioner Joe Martinez uh, and Sally Heyman uh, for their leadership in this effort. Really, it, we couldn't have done it without you. Commissioner Mar uh, Diaz couldn't have done it without your leadership, too. And it was a hard-fought battle. It took uh, a lot longer than it should have. But I think in the end, we got the right product. And before they offer their remarks, I want to say a few words in Spanish. Quiero da darle las gracias al uh, Capellán Beckman por dirigir el uh, juramento a la bandera y por estar aquí hoy para bendecir, bendecir la nueva edición de la Flota de Bomberos uh, de Miami-Dade. Le doy la bienvenida al señor William Hunt, director de la compañía Leonardo Helicopters. Estamos muy contentos que no ha llegado el primer de cuatro helicópteros que nuestro departamento de bomberos necesita para salvar vidas. Estos helicópteros lo ofrecen en un nivel de seguridad superior a los bomberos y a las personas que ellos rescatan. El modelo Leonardo es el mejor en su clase para rescates, para apagar fuegos y para misiones de búsqueda. Existen más de mil en entregas de este modelo a través del mundo. 280 operadores usan este helicóptero en más de 70 países. Este helicóptero está diseñado para tener excelente estabilidad durante las misiones de rescate. Esto incluye un gancho para cargas de superior calidad, uh, un cubo para apagar fuegos llamada Bambi Bucket uh, y un sistema de alta tecnología. Todas estas piezas son esenciales para que el helicóptero sirva a varias funciones a través de las 71 estaciones de bomberos que tenemos en Miami-Dade y, y en nuestros municipios. Estos servicios también se necesitan en los condados vecinos de Collier, Monroe, Lee y Broward. En muchos casos usamos estos helicópteros para ayudarlos a esos condados. Por todas estas razones estoy muy orgulloso de poder agregar este modelo de helicóptero a nuestra flota. Le quiero dar las gracias a, a la Junta de Comisionados de Miami-Dade por su apoyo, especialmente los comisionados Joe Martínez y Sally Heyman por su liderazgo en este proyecto y también el comisionado Díaz, todos los que están aquí hoy con nosotros. Muchas gracias y que Dios los bendiga a todos. Thank you, Patty, and now back to you. Thank you, Mayor. Now our lovely airport location today is located in District 11, represented by Commissioner Joe Martinez. Commissioner Martinez, a few words of welcome, if you would. How are you guys doing today? As it goes, the mayor gets all the good speaking points. We get nothing. So we just have to fill it in. And that's just the way it goes. But um, when this came up, I called a lot of you because I really could care less what helicopter you wanted as long as we got you the helicopter you wanted. You are the ones who fly in it. You're the ones that deserve to fly what you want to be and our citizens deserve the best we can give them. And from what I've been told, this is the best we can give them, this is the best we can give you, and delivering excellence almost every other day. Okay, I got one laugh out of that, there we go. But um, I was looking at this, and if you look at the, um, the flight panel, it's almost as complicated as some cars, but I look forward uh, to getting the feedback from you, from those of you who fly it, I look forward to the feedback to see what you think of it, if there's anything else we think to improve or anything at all. So um, safe flight. I'm glad it's happening here at Tam Miami. God bless you all, and we'll see you up there. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Up next, Commissioner Sally Heyman, who was a champion of the legislation that led to this day. Commissioner Heyman. Good afternoon, and I can't tell you how happy I am to be amongst people 
uh, and uh, especially for such a great occasion. Uh, I have been socially distancing and isolating since March 13th. I think this is my third public event. Uh, I'd like to start off first by acknowledging an incredibly smart Board of County Commissioners, followed by an intellectually experienced former firefighter mayor who brought this to a successful vote. And uh, if I could tell you it was over four months, I thought it was an easy, logical thing to do, uh, over four months to try and get it through committee. Uh, I think Dave Downey, he's here, Chief, where are you? Come on, you cash, he's in the back. Him and Lily and some of you uh, rescue f f uh, fly guys and our doc from Ryder, we have a doctor from Ryder. Where's our doc? The best trauma center in uh, the country, in my opinion. Thank you. They took up residency. But when it got finally to uh, make it happen, procurement slammed it through in a record 45 days, uh, which was incredible. So thank you to my colleagues. Uh, it was lengthy dialogue, debates, and challenges. Uh, but let me tell you, at no time did I ever forget the importance of what is done by the men and women who work in our fire rescue and our air rescue department uh, unit, as well as our trauma center at the time. One, now we have multiple. We have such density and congestion in our 2,500, uh, 25,000 square miles, 2,500 square miles, I can't remember. Uh, with almost 2.8 million people, the bottom line is when you have a life emergency, you need to get them up in the air and get them to a great trauma center. These birds will do it, and I'm so excited to be part of it. What you have today is two incredible sites here at Tamiami and Opelika, and we will have four flying birds, the AW139, that will deliver life services from the point of origin to the point of delivery. And that's what we need with first class responders delivering first class uh, services. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, we all are part of a successful effort. We prioritize the life of others in great need with this uh, fabulous vote. So thank you all, and I wish you safe travels when you're on it, and I hope I'm never anything but a visiting passenger in it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Commissioner Heyman. Now we will hear from MDFR Fire Chief Alan Kaminsky. Chief, take it away. everyone and welcome. I'd like to begin by recognizing all distinguished guests and representatives from other agencies that are present today for this joyous occasion of recognizing our first of four state-of-the-art helicopters. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here in attendance today. As a well-known sports coach once said, the strength of the team is each individual member. The strength of each member is the team. And thanks to this team effort, we are here today. Everyone who contributed to this effort, whether it was a small contribution or if you were involved every step of the way, know that your hard work and dedication made this a reality. Today I'd like to take a moment to personally thank everyone involved. First, I'd like to thank Mayor Carlos Jimenez for his support and his desire to always consider ways to help improve services for the residents of Miami-Dade County. I'd like to thank the Board of County Commissioners for approving this opportunity for MDFR to improve our level of services we provide to the residents and visitors of Miami-Dade County. The BCC has always been an advocate for public safety, and we truly appreciate all of your support. The ISD and the procurement team who worked tirelessly to see this process through know that your efforts will surely save lives. To the MDFR personnel who also worked so hard 
are making sure we got the right tool to do our jobs because they understand how crucial it is when every second counts and lives are on the line. So thank you. To the MPFR rescue crews, we know that this aircraft will provide new opportunities for you to make a positive impact in the community. This new helicopter is part of the new generation of sophisticated aircraft, paired with modern high-tech technology, superior speeds, and increased capabilities for transport and firefighting operations. So please remember, for every mission you fly, there is an entire team of people who stand behind you and want to know that their hard work and effort would be helping you to save lives and property. With that said, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue is ready to take flight. Reaching new heights and providing safe and effective response operations to the residents of Miami-Dade County. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Kaminsky. Well, as you all know by now, the AW-139 helicopter is a product of the proud folks at Leonardo Helicopters. Please welcome CEO of Leonardo, Mr. William Hunt. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mayor Jimenez, distinguished commissioners of Miami-Dade County, Chief Kaminsky, Chief Rubin, and all the brave men and women of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bill Hunt, and I have the honor of being the Chief Executive Officer of Augusta Westland Philadelphia Corporation, a wholly owned subsidiary of Leonardo Helicopters. I can't tell you how proud I am to be here amongst you representing the team from Philadelphia. Based in Philadelphia, we produce and deliver helicopters for a variety of life-saving missions, including emergency medical services, search and rescue, which was highlighted by the mayor, surveillance, national security, and firefighting, amongst others. As the mayor said, the AW-139, the aircraft you see behind me, is one of the most successful programs ever in the history of the world. With over 1,000 aircraft flying across every continent, here in the U.S., this aircraft is currently being used for a variety of life-saving missions by organizations like the Los Angeles Fire Department, the New Jersey State Police, the Maryland State Police, and the United States Air Force. Today, on behalf of my teammates back home, I am proud to deliver the first of four aircraft to Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and the people of Miami-Dade County. I could speak for a while about the capabilities of the aircraft. The mayor did an extremely good job in, in doing that himself. Um, the speed, the power, the advanced avionics, the safety systems, and the flexible cabin configuration that we talked about. However, the bottom line is this incredibly magnificent aircraft was built and equipped to meet the specific mission requirements of MDFR. I want to share with you just a few thoughts about what this partnership means to our company. At AWPC, we are a family of over 800 teammates, made up of technicians, engineers, supply chain, customer support and service representatives, pilots, Larry's with us today, tech reps with us today, veterans and volunteers. We've experienced quite a bit of upheaval during 2020 with COVID. However, what kept us focused and motivated throughout the pandemic was our fundamental and unwavering commitment to the first responders who use our aircrafts to save lives. The men and women of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue were and are a source of inspiration and motivation. As we know, your service is even more critical during these times. To the heroes of MDFR, I am proud to present you with the first of four aircraft, which are the most advanced and sophisticated AW-139s that AWPC has ever put into service. You should be proud of the demands that your leadership put on our company in delivering the capabilities that you deserve. This aircraft has been made with pride and the utmost commitment to your sacrifice of protecting the people of this county while prioritizing your safety using the most modern technology available in the industry today. To the mayor 
and each of the distinguished commissioners here, both physically and virtually, we thank you for your partnership and for your dialogue. As is the case with each of our public service aircraft, the opportunity to understand your organizations, listen to your feedback, and consider your ideas have made us all better and have better informed our product that we deliver to you today. This delivery is only the start of a budding relationship and partnership, and we will continue to stand behind you and the men and women of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue as they continue to protect and serve the people of this county. To commemorate this partnership, I'd like to present each of your offices with a replica model of the MDFR new AW139. We also have additional models for the, uh, the rest of the offices for the commissioners so that you can display it in your offices. Um, congratulations to all of you for the incredible journey that we've been on so far and for the journey that will come in the future. And uh, thanks for all of your community service and doing what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of our speakers. Photo opportunities are available after the ceremony and there are photos and B-roll available from MDFR Media Relations staff and also by scanning the QR code on the monitor to my far right. Now if everyone will please rise again as Lieutenant Chaplain Bickham concludes our program now with the blessing of the helicopter. Okay, I'll be blessing the helicopter with water. And that's because water has a spiritual meaning. Okay, in many cultures, it's used to symbolize uh, purification, healing, and protection. Uh, in the fire culture, it's also vital because it's used to actually save our lives, and we use it uh, to save other folks, other people's lives as well. Uh, water is also essential for bathing, washing, uh, for just drinking, cooking, and it's essential because it's used for, to flush out our bodies because a lot of firefighters are affected with cancers. So it's a to it helps to detox the body, especially with COVID now, it's very essential for us to drink water. So I'm using the water to actually bless the helicopter. Okay, as I bless the helicopter, let us pray. Dear eternal creator, we thank you for this opportunity to gather before you today to bless this new helicopter designed to give the critically ill, injured, and troubled a chance of hope and life. We offer the new Air Rescue South our skills and all the implements of our trade for the safety and security of each and every member of our great community and beyond. Please bless the pilots, the flight medics, administrative personnel, the aircraft mechanics, to stay alert and focused during their difficult hours. We pray that you provide each of them with protection, strength, and peace while they perform their duties when responding to emergencies. We thank you for the ongoing sacrifices of these firefighters and their loved ones, which has contributed for a sense of security for all the people here in our community. We pray that you watch over their families while they're away from them and give them peace as they, until they return safely home. May each person who enters this aircraft have the assurance of your divine protection. I pray that you grant safety in the operation of this sophisticated equipment. I pray that every EMS-related response, every special operations situation and training be performed safely and that your divine protection is with them. Protect every man and woman of this department as they give their wholehearted devotion to that which they have fully been called. We dedicate ourselves to you as we are your hands and your feet, helping those who are in crisis. Please bless this piece of equipment in every run that it goes on, that good will be done. Let it be used to its fullest potential to save lives within the golden hour and be a blessing to those in need. We ask a special blessing for those who have been affected by COVID-19, and we ask for the peace and the uni unity over this great nation. Father, thank you for your goodness and thank you for this day. Amen, amen, and amen.